In this video, we're gonna walk you through how you can obtain the best in-slot gear as quickly as possible in Dragonflight Season 3. Now, there's a bunch of class reworks coming, and with the new 90-second healer trinket cooldown, maybe you're even considering swapping roles. So, knowing how to gear efficiently is gonna give you the boost that you need to avoid falling behind before the season begins on November 14th. So, to kick things off, you're gonna wanna replace all of your conquest gear with honor gear. So, make sure you're stocked up on that 15,000 honor cap as it won't reset between seasons. The new honor gear has a 476 PVP item level, so skipping out on it is really not an option. A full set of gear costs around 12,500 honor, so by being honor capped, you should have enough time on your hands to enjoy some outdoor activities this week instead. And just like last season, the PVP item level can't be upgraded, so once you've acquired the gear, you can sit back and relax without any additional stress, except for spending all your gold on new enchants. Now to farm honor quickly, you'll want to grind battlegrounds, complete PvP world quests, and tackle the weekly PvP quest from Valdraken. If you want to grind honor for your alt and don't want to get smashed by Swifty and Warsong Gulch while you're in full greens, you can now do it without too much hassle as well. This is thanks to the new bind on account honor token that you can purchase for 2,500 honor, providing an exchange of 1,500 honor when it's used. Simply farm honor on your main and send it to your alt through the mail system. Moving on, World PvP Gear has also made a return if you want different stats via bloody tokens that you gain from World PvP and World Quests. This gear can be upgraded to a higher item level, just below the Conquest Gear's item level, through Trophies of Strife, so make sure you're completing that weekly PvP quest to stay ahead of the curve. Now fortunately, if you miss out on a week of World Quests, Blizzard has your back there too, and you can still purchase the Trophies of Strife for 3500 honor instead. However, this might take significantly longer to farm than just doing your weekly chores. Remember that the set bonuses for this gear do not apply to instanced PvP, so don't bother trying to complete a set unless your goal is for world PvP only. Now, let's talk tier sets, one of the most impactful ways to improve your character's power early in the season. Just like in Dragonflight Season 2, the Dragonflight Mastery Achievement will be making an appearance, allowing us to obtain a free piece of tier set through either clearing the Heroic Raid, reaching Keystone Master, or earning a Challenger 2 rating in PvP. Completing one of these feats will award you an Emerald Mark of Mastery, which you can use to exchange for any piece of tier you want. Unlike last season, you won't have to wait for weeks to obtain your 2 set, as the Revival Catalyst will be available from Day 1, allowing us to get the 2 set instantly. We'll then be able to use the Catalyst every 2 weeks as our charges reset fortnightly. This, in our opinion, is a great change for PvP as it means that everyone's going to be on an even playing field rather than relying on luck from the vault for that game-changing set bonus. Now moving on, just like last season, embellishments are still in the game and are limited to two per player at one time. You'll need to use the crafting table to create them and wait for someone with the recipe to make it for you. Now to do this, you're going to need a Spark of Dreams and a Trophy of Conquest, which you can purchase for Conquest. You're also given two for free after your first rated win via a quest item from the Strongbox. To make a Spark of Dreams, you'll need 250 Flight Stones as well as two Splintered Spark of Dreams. These sparks are going to first be obtained from the quest Dreams Unified and then most likely from the PvP quest every two weeks, but this isn't really confirmed yet. Once you have your Spark of Dreams and Trophy of Conquest, Go over to the crafting station and select the item you want to craft. In the top left corner, you'll have the track recipe icon that you'll check and then purchase everything you need from the auction house, along with the embellishment and missive of your choice. Now be aware that there are a ton of embellishment nerfs, so make sure you do your research first as fan favorites like Fang's adornments have had their damage reduced Crafting gear isn't just great for embellishments though, as it still allows you to tailor your stats to whatever you want them to be, rather than relying on what Blizzard puts on the vendor. A very common choice here is making haste versatility boots for casters. Now, for the moment all you PvEers have been waiting for, will you be absurdly overpowered with the new raid items? The short answer is, um, well, probably not. This is because the set bonus of having 20% main stat 
and 5% stamina while wearing two PvP trinkets far outweighs anything you obtain in PvE content. Now, when it comes to the weapons, their effects are significantly nerfed, and they also have a lower item level compared to the Conquest gear. So these won't be items you'll want to seek out either. However, there is a glimmer of hope for all you raiding enthusiasts out there and listen up, as the new legendary weapon, the Phyrak Axe, might just find a place in the meta. Usable by Death Knights, Warriors, and Paladins, this axe will most likely be obtainable from defeating the Amr Drassel raid. Although the effect and the stats of the weapon are currently unknown, it's likely to tie in with one of his boss fight's abilities, which could be pretty devastating in the arena. Now, this isn't the first legendary that's seen play in Dragonflight, as a fairly large number of augmentation evokers benefited from their legendary throughout Season 2. Now, although it had a reduced effect, it was still a solid option, so we're going to be expecting that at least a few melee players will benefit from this new deadly axe. So, to finish things off, as always, Conquest Gear is going to be the end goal for the highest item level that you can achieve in PvP. Conquest can be quickly earned through all rated content, but if you're really looking to min-max your time, you should opt for rated battlegrounds. They not only provide the most conquest, but also the most honor, filling up your weekly vault as fast as possible. Now, assuming conquest is capped, it's vital that you try to fill out this bar every single week and reach three full chests in your vault. Otherwise, you're going to be battling an armada of players wearing full epics while you're in full blues. So, to recap, what you must do on the start of the season is ensure you have 12,500 honor for the full honor set, as it's going to be more powerful than your conquest gear, do your weekly quest to allow you to collect sparks to make your crafted gear, complete the world PvP quest to gain Trophy of Strife and upgrade your bloody token gear, and finally, cap in rated PvP every week to gain 3 vault slots. And that's it! Dragonflight Season 3 gearing is really simple this time around, so if you geared up in Season 2, you should have no teething problems, as nothing has really changed at all, other than a few item names here and there. But although the gearing may be the same, the gameplay surely won't be. So make sure you subscribe to stay updated on all your arena needs.